most residents of chatanad colony were once manual scavengers the extreme pollution including human excreta had made healthy living almost impossible it is to find a practical solution to this problem that iit bombay and kila came together and began an experiment known as canal p the first thing that canal p workers did was conduct extensive surveys in the region chatanad canal its tributaries and nearby houses became a designated micro water system they studied the socio economic situation of these houses they evaluated the existing waste management systems in place and as part of the survey all the canals leading to the colony were clearly mapped based on this a clear course of action was formulated considering that there might not be enough space to build septic tanks for each individual house it was decided that sewage will be treated in a public system and then put back into the canal thirdly it was necessary to build an aerobic composting unit for other kinds of organic waste to this end kerala metals and minerals limited pledged their csr funds sewage from households are transported to a system via pipes the first stage of treatment is done with the help of anaerobic baffle reactors the water moves into an artificial wetland filled with canna plants after which the water flows into the canal one big advantage of the system is that it requires very little maintenance only a single electric pump is required everything else works with the help of gravity not only that no chemicals or machines are used to treat the water this movement received a lot of cultural support that is seldom seen in such endeavors Through voluntary public help the canal was brought back to life in just one day The old public toilet was turned into a library Alapura's local art collective Harmony made the entire area gorgeous with their paintings This waste management project began drawing in tourists from all over. Two members of the colony became full-time workers in this project. This project became a source of pride for the people who lived there. This is the beautiful story of how such settlements dismissively called slums cease to be without the help of bulldozers